All right, we're going to take this Trailhawk for a short drive around the block. See how it handles. All right, we're going to take the 2014 Cherokee Trailhawk out. So far, I've got the select train, transfer case, and automatic. Let's let the uh, computer do its job. Get a little slick out. Snow on the ground, some ice, some slush. Overall, not too bad. So, we don't need to set it for snow or mud or anything like that. And the rock. The rock mode is only specific to the trail hawk. Um, you have to be in four low for that. And you're only limited to one to two miles per hour. Uh, it is actually intended for rock crawling, so uh, it locks the diffs. Okay, so we just turned around and we're going to be heading back. Decided to change the camera view a little bit. So one thing I noticed and I do like about this car is how smooth the ride is, how quiet it is. I do like the uh, the multifunction display in the center instrument panel, and I also like I definitely like this 8.4 inch touchscreen. I think it's one of the easiest interfaces to use in an audio video interface. Um, this one has the navigation, the Garmin based navigation, and also has the UConnect apps, which is really nice and um, Along with that, it also has the ability to have a, a Wi-Fi signal. Basically what it does is it just creates a Wi-Fi hotspot in your, in your car, which is convenient. Uh, it is a subscription-based service. Um, not 100% sure of the cost. Um, that information can be found at uconnect.com. This vehicle is um, does have Bluetooth capabilities. It's very easy to pair your mobile devices to um, to the system. Um, other 
nice touches it has. There's uh, heated seats and heated steering wheel, um, which is a very welcome feel on a cold morning. I basically had to re-record the sound um, for whatever reason uh, didn't come out right in the GoPro so alright we're almost back to the dealership once we get back there I'll kinda recap my thoughts on this test drive and uh, go from there alrighty so we are back from about a four mile drive that we took in the 2014 uh, Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Um, my overall impressions are this is a it's a great vehicle. Uh, it's a surprising vehicle, actually. I um, that's kind of what I came back with. Uh, I know the capabilities of this vehicle. Um, I know it has the 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 uh, the rock mode in the uh, select train, so I know that you know this thing can this thing can do some serious off roading. It's got skid plates uh, over the uh, front and rear differentials and also has it over the uh, fuel and oil pans as well so I know what Jeep intended this vehicle to do um, and it has you know it has the, the beefier tires and the beefier suspension and stuff like that so I know what it's capable of doing off-road um, what was surprising is it's on-road refinement it's a very quiet yeah, it's very smooth, uh, completely opposite of what you would expect. There's very little road noise, um, and it also gets really good gas mileage. I think on our trip we were probably averaging anywhere between 22 and 25 miles per gallon. Uh, it does have a 3.2 liter V6. It has a 9-speed automatic transmission, um, and we were we were getting pretty good gas mileage for um, the type of vehicle it is. Um, the other thing I like about it is the interior refinement, and I'll just kind of pan around. One thing that comes to mind is like the red contrast stitching on the dash. The red stitching is actually specific to the Trailhawk. Um, the other vehicles have uh, white stitching. The other thing I like is the real tight stitching on the seats. And of course, the Trailhawk embroidery on the seat backs. The, as I mentioned before, the 8.4 inch touchscreen is an amazingly simple uh, interface to use. So, I love the layout of the entire dash. All of your media interfaces down here, and then your select train controller. You also have steering wheel mounted controls for your cruise control and your center display menu, which we've which we've gone over. And then your voice recognition for your Bluetooth. Um, one of my other favorite things about Jeep vehicles is, excuse me, they um, they put little Easter eggs everywhere in their cars, and they're kind of fun to find. Um, some of them are obvious, and some of them are not so obvious. Um, take for instance, since 1941, it's on the steering wheel of the Cherokee, on the Wrangler, it's on the passenger grab bar, uh, on the dash storage bin, there's the Jeep logo, and then in the center of the windshield, there's a little Willys Jeep sitting on a rock outcrop. Uh, on the Wrangler, it's in the lower right hand corner of the wind windshield. That's right, I first saw it. And then uh, on the wheels, they have that same silhouette. So the Jeeps are just just an overall fun vehicle.